Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. What we're going to do today is we've got this little button here with a background and what we're going to do is make the background disappear and the button grow when we hover over it, just like this. Now that's going to draw attention as soon as people move their mouse over it. That's a nice little effect right there. And as usual, we can do this with all the onboard features of the Divi theme here. So let's go ahead and enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And I've got a section here, the blue tab, and a row with two columns in it. And I've done that first one on the first column there. Let's go into our row here, and we'll work on the second column. First thing I'm going to do is go in there and put a background image in I guess I'll use the same one as I used last time. And I also added a bit of color too. But we'll come back and adjust this in a moment because you can't see anything for a minute because that actual column's got no height to it. So if we go to our design to get it some height, I went down to spacing. And I just gave it 200 pixels, top and bottom. There we go, we've got a bit of height there now. Okay, so let's go back to our background here. And I'm on the image, I gave it that purple color. Let's just blend those two together. If you go down to below the image, background image blend. I think I used screen pool, that's fine. It's just giving it that sort of purple hue. These image blends are great if you watch any of my other videos. You can get some fantastic effects with them. And by the way, if you want to take the Divi theme for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Okay, now that we've got the column taken care of, let's add a button. So I'm going to save the changes. Hit the little black button here to add a module. And by default, Divi comes with all these modules as standard. Plus, uh, there's another dozen or so more if you've got WooCommerce installed for products and things like that. So let's add a button. And there we are. It's right there at the moment. I'm going to go to the Design tab. And I'm going to pop him in the middle. Right there. There we go. Fantastic. OK. And if we go to the text, what do you want your button to say? whatever you want it to say obviously I'm going to have mine say hover on me and wherever it is your button you want it to link to or take your visitors hit the little link below there put in your link here I'm just going to put a hashtag in there you don't have to put anything in there at all if you don't want to but not much point in having a button if it doesn't go anywhere okay and we want it to open in the same window that will just take it to the top of the website here OK, let's style it. Let's go in to the button. Use custom styles for button. And what I'll do is text color, I'll make white. And we'll just give it a background color. As we used that purple before, I'll use that again. And I'm doing the border the same way. But when when you hover on it, I don't want that little icon to appear. So if we scroll down just a little bit more, show button icon, I'm going to switch that to off. By default, Divi comes with all these elegant themes icons preloaded for you. There's some great ones there, but I'm, I'm going to turn that off because I don't want to use it today. Now, when people hover over it, I want it to change to different color. So where it says button background, just hover over it. If there's no icons there, hover over the black writing that says button background. Hit the little arrow. And you've got a desktop version, which is a non-hover state. And a hover version, which funnily enough is when your mouse is hovering over it. And for the hover version, let's just change that color. And we'll do the same thing for the border as well. Little arrow, hover, change the color. There we go. And while we're in here, what do we want it to do? I want it to get a lot bigger when they hover on it as well, because I'm, we're going to make that background disappear like we did on that first one. 
So let's go down and I want to add just a little bit of box shadow to it as well. Box shadow right there. Now let's go down some more and you'll see transform. We're going to use the first one which is scale which means grow or shrink. Now again we don't want it to grow any on the regular state but on the hover state we do want it to grow. So if you go with the black version of transform not the blue the black hit the little arrow again you've got those two options again. So we're already on the hover state you can tell because it's green. So when they hover on it I want it to grow however much you want it to grow. Now yeah, that'll work for me. Desktop state. It's going to be just like that. Great, that's fantastic. So I think we're done with the button. Now let's make our background do something when they hover over it, like disappear. Now let's go back into our row, to our second column there. Now you'd think you could go to filters and just have it take the opacity down to zero. But if we do that, the whole thing's going to disappear. The button's going to disappear as well. So let's just make sure that's going to happen. Let's say hit our hover, little arrow there on hover, take the opacity down. Yeah, see, unfortunately, everything disappears, button and all. So that's not going to work for us. So what we can do, we can just go to the content, to the background, and do the same thing with the background that we put in there. We're on our image right here. Hit the little arrow to get our desktop and hover states. On the hover, we'll take that image away. And we can either change that background color opacity to zero, so you can't see it, which will work fine. We'll just put a white background in because we've got a white background. They'll both do exactly the same thing. And then when you go back to desktop, it'll be the exact same way. Now by default that's going to happen in about 300 milliseconds which is a little bit too quick for me. So let's go to our advanced, let's go down to transitions, slow it down a little bit. 300 milliseconds, let's take that up to about a second. There we go, that'll work for me. Save our changes, save again, save our page changes and exit the visual builder. And let's go down and see what we've got. So there we are. Let's hover our mouse over it. Background's disappearing. Button's growing. Back, background's back. And that's taking it about a second. Now, if you wanted to slow down the actual timing, the color change on the button, you could do the transition on there as well and slow it down. I think I did that one on this one. So when it disappears, the actual color change is a lot slower, it's taking a second also. That's entirely up to you. But that's a nice little feature. When people are going down your site and that sort of happens when they go over something, they're gonna that's gonna get their attention right there. So it's a nice little feature. And like I say, you can do this all without any custom coding. Really, really well done. I like that. Well done, Divi. You, you've done a good job with those features. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.